2023 tops finest flashback five cases you heard me right five five damn cases of greatness we're gonna start it right now best of luck to everybody I think I should open, I might open two cases at once. Should we go two cases at a time? Yes, sir, Merlin. Want to hit for the PC, for Lund's PC. Lundy, Lundy. PYT number one of the five caser. Of the fine, the finest flashback, the '96 version. Oh, I don't know. I mean, none of the ones that I opened were missing an auto. I was missing like one refractor in one case. That was it. Open some packs. Any questions? Any chit chat? Anybody have any questions? <laughs> Brugvu. That's a very Brugvu thing right there. I love it. Joe, you're what are you treating this like baccarat? You're like you're like figuring out the pattern over here. I'm actually, are, you should collect all the autos of this product, Joe, because it's similar to the Legend autos. Out of delight. I feel like there's some good autos in this. That's the one nice thing about flashbacks in general, is their, their auto checklist is always strong. That's why Backer was saying they had a lot similarity to Cosmic. The best deal at Costco is that rotisserie chicken for like five bucks. They I, honestly, I find it hilarious too, Brugvu. But every, every, you know, everybody's got their thing. They take that shit very seriously. Those notes with the patterns. Thank you, demo. Much love. When does the new preseason start up for your Gi Long? How long is the off season? I think craps is fun. I'll tell you, craps is fun because it's interactive. You get to actually roll dice. And then Baccarat's fun if you play high stakes because they let you destroy the cards. As a poker player where they don't want you to destroy the cards at the table, I do enjoy destroying the cards. But I don't really, I don't play the table games. Like, I just do for here and there for, like, reward points with my friends to keep them company. I'm not a table games guy. If I'm going to be a DJ, and I'll just go, I'll just go throw away a few hundred dollars in slots just to get reward points. I'm really not, like, I play poker. I try to play things with an advantage. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice that's a nice amount of time off. Wow. That's a lot of time off. It's a lot of time off. Let that body heal. Uh, my biggest slot pull was probably like 17,000. I've had a bunch of really good slots. I'll actually make you laugh, Mr. Always Right. I, what I'm about to say is going to sound absolutely absurd, but I have numerous close friends that can vouch for me this for what I'm about to say being true. I and, and, and by the way, I'm not someone to learn from, but I am a lifetime winning slots player. It sounds ridiculous to say, but it probably sounds even more ridiculous to hear. I am a lifetime winning slots player. It is so weird. I know I'm supposed to be down. I know it's a losing proposition. I've been very lucky. I've been lucky. If I were as lucky at slot at poker as I have been at slots, I'd be a gazillionaire. Like I've played I've played 7 hands in my life in poker where the where the pot was over a half a million dollars. I had the best hand all 7 times. I have won one of those 7 hands, okay? In slots, I am so lucky. Like, I've hit so many jackpots. I'm so lucky. When I used to smoke cigarettes on breaks from poker tournaments, I used to go and just stick around in the slot machines and just kill time. And I used to have a rule where I would basically, I would do $300 would be the max amount I would lose. I always bet the max on the slot machine, so like 3 bucks, 6 bucks, 5 bucks, whatever it was. And... I would lose 300. When I hit when I lost 300, I would just stop for the day. I would never I never let myself lose more than $300 in a sitting in a day in slots. But if I and if I get to a, a if I if I, if I ever get to over 1000, I I quit. Or whenever I hit the bonus, I just quit. Just whatever happens first. I either lose my 300, I hit a bonus. Like I I'll lose $20 and quit. I don't care. You know, if I hit the bonus and I'm down 20, that's it. Once I hit the bonus, I leave. But I've hit a lot of jackpots. A lot of hand payouts. I've been really lucky. It's so weird. I've been so lucky in slots. It's like so dumb. So many of my friends didn't believe me. And then sure enough, it's like they'll, they used to spend time with me on breaks when I would hang out and just smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and they would see it. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I quit a couple years ago. Or I quit a while, many years ago, but then I vaped for a couple years, and I've been nicotine-free for a couple years now. Very proud of that. Very proud of that. I'm going to do my absolute best, Jackie. Mr. J's fan, I hit a goal. I hit a rare Riley Green in the last case I opened today, so that makes me feel good about hitting another one for you. Well, I never lost my slots luck, Efro. It's not like it's gone. I just don't play slots anymore. I don't really play. I don't have time. And or desire. I would I don't want to ever smoke another cigarette ever again for the rest of my life. Cigarettes are evil. Yeah, right, Efro. Riley Green coming up. Jackie, if I haven't hit you any Riley after three cases, I want you to very mildly complain, and then that will ensure that we hit a Riley in the last in the last two cases. I always say a sprinkle of compl of complain mojo is like a foolproof strategy. So if no Riley comes out in the first two cases, just whine a tiny bit, and 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 then we'll just hit it for you, just a tiny bit. I don't play those Game Kings, but I have a lot of friends that do that stuff. With, like, all the jacks are better or whatever. I have one friend. His name is Leo. He's an advantage slots player here in Vegas. That's what he does for a living. He knows, like, everything there is to know about slots machines. It's, it's pretty crazy. He'll send me, like, charts of, like, how many bonus whatever you need to have an advantage on this machine. It's crazy. He literally, I've seen it all. Dragon Cash? I don't think... I don't know. I'm not sure I know that one. I probably do, just not off the top of my head. I've gotten lucky at the non-advantage slots, like Buffalo and dumb shit like that. I think...
we should open two cases. Let's open two cases, right? Come on, let's do two at a time. Two at a time. Let's put that box over the pack over there. Let's do two at a time. Two at a time. Did you really, Noah? That's actually really cool. That's like somebody buying a Mortal Kombat console and setting it up in their in their man cave. And you did that with a with a, a game king. God damn. <laughs> Let's do two. Let's do two. It takes two to tango, so let's do two cases. I don't blame her, Noah. Is it illegal? Probably is. Tango and cash, baby. Great flick. Great flick. You boys like Mexico? Yeehaw. Nice, Brew Boo. Do you still have the Mortal Kombats? Do you still have the Mortal Kombat consoles? I have a friend who has, who has one of them. The original one, I think. Best Nintendo game? There's so many. I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start. I wouldn't even know where to start. Too many, there's too, I mean, too many to name. Best N64, I would say, is Goldeneye. That's actually really funny. I wonder why it's, I mean, I guess because you can set it up to accept money and stuff, so that's why it's illegal. Um. Man. I would say that's a I would say the line the line should be like two, Mr. Library. I feel like the line is two with juice on the over. Tecmo Bowl is a good one. Tecmo Bowl was a good one. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Zelda, Mega Man, Metroid, Castlevania. Super all the Super Mario's. There were so many good games. You want to hear something cool? My friend, my best friend growing up, whose name was also Jared, even though it wasn't this Jared, because he was much younger, but my best friend growing up, this other Jared, he, uh, his mom, somehow she had a hookup to, like, get new Nintendo games before they were released. So we used to get, like, new Nintendo games before they were released, but... They were unlabeled. It was like it was like a, a blank. It was like the cartridge didn't have the the actual label of the game. It didn't come in the box. It was just like a it was like a beta version. And uh, we used to get some cool games ahead of their release time. Sometimes we got games that like never ended up even coming out. Never ended up getting released. But there was one game. I'm not sure if this game ever, ever got released or not. It was called Yo Noid, and it was the Domino's Pizza guy. And at the end of every level, you had a pizza-eating competition with, like, the boss at the end of every level. I used to love that game. I remember I remember she got that game for us. Yo Noid. I don't even know if the game ever came out. I think it was called Yo Noid. Somebody could Google it and see if the game ever came out. It was literally the Domino's Pizza guy with those floppy ears. That, with the, you know? You used to throw pizzas. You used to throw pizzas to get through the... Oh, you remember it, so it came out. I know, Noah. I can only imagine. That was a fun game, though. Yo, Noid.
Is it for sale on eBay? I'm like, I can't click click the link because I'm opening packs. But is that is that somebody selling Yo Noid? Is that what that is? How about RBI baseball? Or like or NHL ninety-four. Fourteen ninety-nine, nice. What was it, NHL ice hockey, where you could pick from the fat guy, the skinny guy, or the medium guy, and that was it, right? And then if you were the fat guy and you would hit the skinny guy, instead of getting a penalty and going to the box, you would knock out the skinny guy. Yes, ice hockey. You would knock out the skinny guy, and he would go to the penalty box. It was hilarious. Yep, NHL 94 for Sega was amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing game. Sega had some good stuff too, man. I was never huge into the Sonic, but... I mean, I played it, obviously. But... Sega. <laughs> there was a game called Super Monkey Ball for the GameCube. I swear, I, I probably... I, w I will say that I was the greatest on the face of the earth at that game. I played endless hours of Super Monkey Ball. I had, like... I had the touch, you know. What's up, Sean? It's interesting. It's unique. They stayed true to the 1996. So it's common, uncommon, and rare. So some people have an issue with the lack of the color, Sean. But at the end of the day, the cards are very, very high quality. I know. I don't think I remember that zombie game. I don't think I played that one, Jay Bach. How about Paratroopers, or whatever it was called? What was the game where... Parrot, where you could the simutronics was it or for the word you could have, it was like a flight simulator you could go paragliding you could go flying on the plane excite bike was good too but no there was one where you had it was like three it was like para paris you could go paragliding it was like hang gliding or you could go skydiving going through the rings with the plane it was like a t pretty difficult game what was that game called? I don't think I ever played that one, j -Buck. Echo the Dolphin, I remember that game. The autos are the auto checklist is nice, Sean. Per always, flashbacks always is a nice auto checklist. It's got to make sure you're scooping a team that has auto potential. Yes, pilot wings. Fuck yes, Mister Library. I'll curse for that one. Sorry, I apologize for the cursing, but that's exciting. That is exactly what the game was. Pilot wings. Absolutely. Thank you, Mister Library. I love that game. That was another difficult game. That was fun. Contra, yes. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, select, star, baby. Let's go. Can't believe that you knew that, Mr. Library. Pilot Wings. That what a what a legendary game. What a legendary freaking game that was. That's an all timing all timer game right there. Contra 2, of course. All time classics we're talking about right now. I mean, if you want to go back to Atari, then we got Centipede and stuff like that. If you got, and, and like Qbert, and all the really crazy stuff. Marble Madness. I don't know if you guys are old enough for the Atari. J. 
Joust, wow, Brufu. Just activated a memory I haven't seen forever. Joust, what a game. What a game. Joust. Yeah, Pitfall. My Donkey Kong 2, my favorite was Centipede. My favorite Atari was this, was the Centipede. Also, was it Galaga? That was a, that was an all-time great. But that was better in the arcade. Centipede was so good. Frogger, hell yes. Centipede was my favorite. We used to love shooting those little mushrooms. Man, I really want to open another case. Oh, Tank. I remember that game, Joe. That was a great game. Underrated game. Yes, Pitfall was great around the bases. It was legendary. I kind of... I'm not going to lie. I want to open another case and just do three, but we'll do two. It's okay. We take a sip of coffee, and let's begin this amazing five-case break. Hopefully we saw, we find some huge bangers. Let's go. I feel like I remember that name, Moon Patrol. How about Cas was it Castlevania? Castlevania, that was a good one. I can I can still hear the music in my head when it goes from daytime to nighttime in the game. Oh my god, I love that shit. Alright, here we go. I'm getting so excited. Just you were activating memories from my childhood. I'm, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Five cases begins now. Let's do it. Good luck. PYT number one, five cases of flashbacks. Let's get it, get it. Uncommon of Wilson. Wilson. Uncommon of... Who is that? Brandon Crawford? Crawford. I'll find the refractors after I go through each box. Oh, is that one? That's not one. <laughs> Uncommon of Hobby Baez. Might not be so easy to find the refractors. That's why I say that. Beatty's in front of a rare. It's a Red Sox rare. A Red Sox rare for Joe Amazing. It's amazing. He's amazing. Yoshida. Yoshida rare. Our first rare. That's a good first rare. What's up, Higgins? How you doing? Castlevania was amazing, right? Great. We're talking old school video games up in this piece, Higgs. We're having a good time. Having a good time, yeah. Xander on the Uncommon. Open at five cases of flashbacks. Gunner on the base. Having a good time. Corbin on the base. Freddie Freeman on the UC. All right, another rare in this handful. The rare air up there. Adley on the base. Looking for that refractor, but I don't see it yet. Salvi, UC. Logan O'Hoppy base. Rookie and a White Sock rare. It's the big hurt. The big hurt for Eric Lund and his PC. A rare of the big hurt. I think that's the first time I hit the big hurt on the rare in this product. Love to see it. Love Big Hurt. Let right, me find the refractor. Let's play a little game called Find the Refractor. Ah, there it is. There he is. Mr. Judge. Whoop, there he is. It's like finding the refractor. It's like, reminds me of finding the Afi Komen. <laughs> All right, Refractor, rare, rare, uncommon. Box number two. Here we go. Norgor. You see of Hey Yad Suzuki for the Cubbies. You see of Mitchell for the Brew Crew. There's Adley Base. UC of Scherzer for the Mets.
Machado, uncommon. Padres, obviously. All right, we got rare air up there in the handful. Good luck as we get to it. Gunner on the base. Oswaldo Cabrera, you see for the Yankees. Corbin on the base and a rare Yankee named Roger Maris for Riley. Riley, our newcomer, hits Roger Rare. Rare air up there. Roger Maris. You know it's embarrassing to admit that I still haven't seen what did they what did they call it? 61 or whatever the movie, the Roger Maris movie. I haven't seen it. Embarrassing to admit that. I know. Terrible. It's shameful. I've seen like all the other sports movies. I can't believe I haven't seen that one. Looking for the refractor. Playing hide the Afi Komen, hide the refractor. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for the line. Wait for the line. I haven't seen it. it I heard mixed reviews. I, it's not like, that's why I haven't ran to see it. Lee over Piguero is going to be our refractor, by the way. Just found him. Found him. We're having a good time, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Philly's made a nice run of it, man. Can't be disappointed. I mean, I'm a Mets fan, so I'm jealous that you guys at least had a sweat and that it was ex an exciting end to your season. You got hot at the right time, just like last year. And to me, that's fun, you know, just to be in it. Can't take that for granted. Here's a rare tiger named Riley Green. There you go, Jays fan. So you won't have to complain after three cases. We're going to hit it right away in box number two. Box number two. So now we can hit more. More cowbell, more green. We hit one of these in a previous case today, but not an easy hit. Because that's like the different, like, w most of the rares that we get are the franchise versions. They're not rookies. There's Logan Ohapi on the UC, so that's a nice card. That's a nice card. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've already found both refractors. So we can move and groove. Let's go, Jackie. Oh, sorry. We have one card that fell, but no damage. It's a good card. It is Julio. Julio on the rare. Still clean. Perfect. Crispy. Don't hate me, Ziggy. Don't worry. Clean. Clean. Julio on the finest phenoms. Rare. Also not an easy hit. Most of the rares of the franchises, like I said. Here's another rare. Oh, it's Nolan. Nolan rare now. Nah, we'll do a guess like we'll do a guess when we see like a appeal card or like a super or maybe for the auto or something like that. Not gonna do like last rare guess yet, but we'll do some guesses. We'll find some ways to guess during these five cases, don't worry. Oh, okay, so there you go. You wanted it, you got it. We have a peel card. A peel card number to 10. I'll do a guess on the peel card. Let's guess the peel card for $42. It's not one of each per box, J Buck. The last case we did was not like that. I, I was I was checking. It's not one of each per box. It, it might it, maybe it's supposed to be, and maybe it usually is, but it's not every time. Jose Ramirez on the uncommon. Because we got we got a large number of the franchises on the last one. Let's check for the refractor. Nipples today. 
Just looking for the refractor. Not yet. I'm good, Higgins, man. Thank you for asking, dude. I hope you've been well. Hope you like you. I know you it was like you said, it was bittersweet, but I hope you enjoyed the finish to your season. Matty O, hope you enjoyed being in contention. It was a wonderful finish to the baseball season as a whole. Alonzo for my Mets on the UC. Corbin Base. It was a really wonderful season. Um, really happy for the Rangers fans getting their first ever World Series championship. That's pretty damn special. Mount Castle, UC. I thought it was a great season, honestly. I mean, I'm I'm sad because the Mets the Mets had such a bad year, but I really am excited for the future. I'm like over it for this past year. I'm looking forward to the future. C.J. Abrams on the UC. Guess the peel card for forty two dollars. Oh, there's our refractor. It's Max Meyer. Unless you hate money, in which case don't guess because it's free to guess. Hey man, so is Jake Degrom, so, so and so is Scherzer. They're all champs now. All right, the peel card. I'm gonna do it now. No waiting. No waiting. Here we go. For forty-two dollars, who's the peel gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Nah, Efro, it'll still make it special. I feel like you'll still really look forward to it. It's Liberator. Liberator 5 out of 10 on the peel for the Cardinals going to Mr. Wood. That's okay. I would have given you credit anyway, Antoinette, if it was Olsen. Liberator to 10. Bon Jovi style 5 out of 10. Halfway there. On the numbered piece for Matt Wood. What's up, Darty? Good to see you, my friend. I think he is. I think he. I think Council's the next. The next Met manager. I. You know. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I can accept it. There's a royal rare of Bo. Bo knows. Bo knows baseball. Dom J. Gets Bo Jackson rare. Love Bo Jackson. He probably is the greatest athlete we've ever seen. Oh, so really he said that, Joe? Oh, so then we're not getting him. If he said that, we're not going to get him. That means he'll go back. I didn't realize he liked being with the Brewers. Yankees, rookie, Peraza. We'll take it. We'll take it, Riley. Looking for Volpe. We'll take Peraza on the rare. Peraza rare. Our second of that variety, Riley Green and now Peraza. And then we have another gold card in this handful. Is it going to be an autograph? There's Eloy on the Uncommon. Is it going to be an autograph? I think it is. I think it is. Good luck. It's Pujols. Oh, wow. First in the print, too. First in the print for Mr. Wood. Our first auto of five cases is Pujols. Very nice. Pujols Inc. for Mr. Wood. One out of a hundred. The first in the print. Let me get that chrome dust out of there. I hate chrome dust. There we go. Clean. Super clean. Nice hit, Wood. Let's go, baby. Our first auto. 
Our first auto of five cases. I love the, the autos are so sexy in this product. They really are. The autos are so nice. I love hitting the autos in flashbacks. It's such a wonderful sweat. Morrell on the uncommon for the Cubs. They were there late. Wilson. Wilson on the uncommon for the Cardinals. We'll be joining that pool host, Inc. Liberator. Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Corbett on the base. Matty Chapman, you see. Adley. Walner, D.L. Hall, Hip Hip Shohei. Uncommon of Carlos Correa. And that's four boxes of the first case. Let's find the refractor. One, two, three. We've got to find that refractor. Let's play. Find the refractor. not a vet, which means it's either a rookie or a better card. That's a good thing. Show me the money. Where's the refractor? Things that make you go, hmm. Maybe it's in here, in the fancy pile. Did we get a fancy refractor? We did. Wilson Contreras was a refractor for the Cardinals on the uncommon. An uncommon refractor. Love to see it. We're on case number one, Thin Blue. This is case number one. We're on box number five of case number one, my friend. Corbin on the base. Lou Bob on common. Salvi on common. Chris Bryan on common. Buxton, you see. Seeger, the World Series MVP on the UC. Amazing what he accomplished, really is. You guys saw that Jeter say that Seeger is now his favorite player. I thought that was pretty cool. He likes, he respects leadership because he used to be a leader. Lang Lears on the UC. A rare of George Brett for the Royals. Going to Dom J, the second rare you've hit so far in the first case. Unless I'm mistaken, which I don't think I am. Silver's uncommon, gold is rare, correct, yep. Yeah, you guys could take your teams in the single, PYT number 19. There's Bryce Harper on the UC. If we don't hit the, the super auto, there's Mike Harris, nice. Mike Harris, rare for will be free. That's a good card. Um... If we don't hit, if we don't hit the uh, Super Auto bounty, excuse me, then yes, the bounty will go up by five hundred dollars, and that will also affect the single case breaks. So you guys can take PYT number nineteen. If you don't think we're gonna hit a Super Auto in this case, the bounty is gonna apply. The bounty increase will apply to that. Right, the refractor is a rookie or better. Let's take a look at these, the fancies. Before we look at... Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Salvi, uncommon refractor. For the Royals. Royals are eating.
Yeah, the refractors are really hard to see. The spreadsheet? Yeah, I mean, I'll show you the screen. This is what the this is what the screen looks like. I'll give I'll take a sip of my coffee while you guys look at the screen. That's what the screen looks like. The refractors are really hard to see. I could turn on the overhead lighting and then it would create a horrendous glare for me showing every single card, but it would make it easier for me to see the refractor. You guys can tell me if you guys can tell me if I'm crazy or not, but I'd rather have no glare and just have to go through for the refractors than have a glare and be able to see the refractors. I think the glare is just unbearable. Um, Carl, I'm going to take them out for you if they're there. Normally, I can't do that during in the middle of a break, but I, I'll do it for you right now. Let's see. Dodgers and Jays. All right, I was able to take them both out for you, so you're good. You could, you could, you could send whenever. No rush. No rush. All right, let's get back to it. Five cases. Here we go. Let's finish it off. We have the first first box, or the sixth box in the first case right here. You see of Cabrian Hayes. A rare for the Yankees. Shocker for the Yankees. Jeter. The Yankees have the most insane checklist. Riley with another rare hit. Nice work, Riley. We like racking up the rares. Check for the refractors as we go along, shall we? Another rare in this handful. DL Hall on the UC. Ooh, Vladdy Jr. Vladdy Jr. for Bok Choi. That's his PC right there. These cards are beautiful. I can literally see the reflection of my beard. In the, in the in the card on the screen. <laughs> nice brew, bro. I like Juan Gun. He was an RBI machine. Nice hit, Bok Choi. You see of was that Pena? Pena. Interesting picture of Pena. Not very flattering. He's gotten the whole puffy cheeks while he's making the throw. Let's look look for the refractor. Let's play find the refractor. Nope, not there. Here, maybe? Bueller? Bueller? It's also super frustrating that the little white box that it says refractor above on the back of the card is not in the same place on the back of every card. Otherwise, it'd be even easier for me to find it. But it's not there. Corbin on the base. We will find the refractor, don't worry. Probably haven't hit it yet. You see of Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. And the last handful of box number one. It's going to produce a Gunner base, a Giancarlo Stanton uncommon. A Lindor uncommon. And a refractor that we're going to have to go find. Oh, there it is. It's uh, somebody that we used to know. Somebody that we used to know. Wander, by the way. What's up, Demo? It's going well, my friend. It's going well. Chilling. No fish yet, but we have four more cases to go. Four score and seven years to go. I do too, Will. I do too, but like, you know, there's... There is merit to the way that they did this case, they did this product, but I pro I'm with you. I, I agree with you. Um, sip of coffee. We will sheathe the coffee away like a sword. And let's go back to case number two. Here we go. You see of Cabrian Hayes. A rare right away. It's a Yankee. Another Jeter. Riley is crushing. 
What's up, Joe Bob? I think it was a price thing. I think they're just asking too much for it. I think it... I think it was a combination of things. I don't... Deal Hall Uncommon. I don't... You know... It's not, um... It's not... For me to fully disclose, but... Blue Jays... Another Vladdy Jr. Rare. Back to back, Bok Choi! I think it's because it was a little... It was a little pricey. And because Backer had shipping concerns. Pena on the Uncommon... Just because a lot of our shipments have been delayed, there's Arenado on the Uncommon. He didn't want to order something that he thought was an expensive product. And then he was concerned that it was going to be delayed with the shipping and that we wouldn't get it on time. So he didn't he just did he just decided to pass on it. I think the shipping has been a little bit of a concern recently. Like for example, this this particular product like flashbacks like this, it took an extra week for us to get it. An extra six days. We were supposed to get it a little earlier. And that's not that's not Fanatics' fault, by the way. I'm not blaming Fanatics. I know that's not their fault. But none but it, but it, it's almost you know it it doesn't matter whose fault it is. It's still a problem. I think for what it's worth, I think the shipping issue was an even larger Factor than the price, Jay Buck. I think the shipping issue is has been a a thorn in backers behind recently. All right, let's continue with this delicious, tasty, scrumptious, diddlyumptious five case brizzik of flashback Alec Thomas on the uncommon because I want to hit some bangers. I want to see some amazing autos. I want to see some amazing, amazing rares. I want to see some rare refractors, some peel cards. There's Giancarlo on the UC. Jose Ramirez, that's a refractor UC. It had a shine to it, I could tell, even in the terrible lighting. Jose Ramirez, J-Ram for Chemical Cat and the Guards on the uncommon refractor. Lindor again on the uncommon. All right, that, you know, let's put this away, actually. And we'll do box number two of case number two. Here we go. Ooh. Mm, might be an auto in this handful. Let's see. Might be an auto in this handful. But first, a selfie. No, a rare. Ooh, an Oriole rare. Adley. Adley for Gabriel. It's been an Adley kind of day. We've been hitting him. Hawk hit the super earlier. I hit a, a rare peel to 10, and this is a rare for Gabriel of Adley. Arenado on the UC. Nice, Adley. This is an auto. This is an auto. It's a Yankee auto. It's Jeter. Number two, Derek. Jita for Riley. The newcomer hits ink, strikes ink. It is so far, Demo, for sure. Jita, 46 out of 100. I have a sneaky feeling. I, I said this yesterday. I have a sneaky feeling that we, that we, I bet we have, like, the Jeter Super Auto in our palette. I bet we do. I'm telling you guys. I bet we do. Because we have all the... You know, it's like, look at... It's it's just it's just collation stuff, okay? It's like, look, Adley Rare. Adley Rare Peel to 10. Adley Super. We've been hitting Jeter, Jeter Autos left and right more than anybody else, for sure. Leads me to believe that we've got the Jeter... Yankees should never be there. Yankees should never be there. Because we're like a favorite to have the Jeter Super Auto in our cases. Joey Votto on the Uncommon. Riley's sharp taking the Yankees. You're sharp, Riley. You're sharp. Quick like a fox. Did I? Let's see. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, we got to look for the re refractor. Let's play find the refractor. 
Yankees have like 30-something players on their checklists. In my opinion, they are hands down the best team in this product. Did I miss the refractor, or did we not hit it yet? And the answer is, we didn't hit it yet. Let's keep going. It's another rare in this handful. There's Corbin on the base. There's the refractor. I can see it. DeGrom. It's the goat for the Rangers. The champs. The champs are here. You see of Tatis. And then a rare Oriole of Ripken Jr. Gabriel and the Orioles starting to hit. Adley and Ripken rares. Adley and Ripken rares. DeGrom on the refractor for the Rangers. And we're back to it. Springer, you see. Gunner base. Torque, you see. I was talking about Torque yesterday. I like, I like his uh, chances for next year to continue to improve. Devers on the UC. I feel like Torque's value may go up. Torque, Beatty. I feel like those are good guys to buy low on. And we continue. A rare right up on top here of a Red Sox. It's Yoshida. The second finest Intimidators rare of Yoshida for the Red Sox. Joe Amazing with his second Yoshida rare. Gunner Base. Uncommon of Javi Baez. Brandon Crawford again on the Uncommon. I see a rare in the next handful coming up. The next handful has a rare in the air up there. A, that's a movie they should remake, by the way. Salvador Perez Uncommon. They should remake the air up there. Here's a rare of the Big Hurt. Your second of this five caser for Mr. London, his PC. I will tell you guys this. I tried to grab five cases. There's Xander Uncommon. I did try to grab five cases from different areas of the pallets. <coughs> Excuse him. Wah! I really tried to, like, grab from different areas. Freddie Freeman on the UC. Jay Walker for the Cardinals. And a UC of Contreras. More Cardinals, more Cowbell. There's Norgor. Beatty. Let's leave up Mr. Big Hurt, and let's go looking for that, that refractor. A lot of people feel like that, Will. You're not the only one. Listen, I really love the quality of the cards. And I think in a lot of ways it's a wonderful product. But I do think it's, it's tough when everybody loves chasing the color and flashbacks. And they stayed so true to the 1996 form that they didn't put any color in. And they went with the common, uncommon, and rare. Like, I actually get it, and I respect the authenticity. But at the same time, you have to know what your people want. And the people want the color. They, they, they take flashbacks for the color. The autos are like the cherry on top. The autos are always amazing. The checklist for the autos is phenomenal. Nobody 
was ever worried that that was going to be anything else but the case because that's what Flashback is known for, a killer checklist of autos. But it's also known for having wonderful color and for all those low-numbered color. I think people really enjoy that. They stayed so true to the 1996 form that they didn't put color in. They just did the common. There's the refractor. Lennon Sosa for the White Sox. Like, it's, it's you know, I get it. I get it. Ha, ha, ha. Jeff, I'm not related to Billy Crystal, but that's so funny. That's so funny. I mean, it's not a crazy expensive product, though, Joe, right? 300 a box is, like, not insane. They have other products that go for a lot, a lot more, right? Gunner Base. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not defending. Don't get me wrong. I just shared my opinion. I, I'm with you guys. There's Corbin Base. Uh, Liberator on the UC. I think... I, I will say this, though. If you guys haven't physically held any of the cards yet, the cards are really nice. Chapman on the UC. The cards are really nice. I will stick up for Fanatics... And the product in that regard. The cards are beautiful. They're well-centered. They're extremely quality cards. Like, when you hold them in your hand, you can tell these cards are nice cards. I like the design. I think the 96 design is beautiful. Correa on the UC. I just don't like the lack of color. The no color... Th you know what? Demo, Demo and I... Uh, Demo, if you're there... I'll blow up both of our spot for a moment. Eloy Jimenez in the UC. Let's do the rare, and then I'll say what Demo and I said. Rare for the Mets. It's Alvy and the Chipmunks for Sappy. Alvarez. Mets get on the board. There you go, Sappy. Demo, what I was going to say, Demo and I were having a conversation after I got off stream about flashbacks last night, and Demo, may, Demo said it best. He said it best. If this product had 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 color in it, there would be there would there would nobody would have any issues with this product. If this if this product had its gold to fifty, its its prisms to thirty five, its you know it, it's uh, the blacks to twenty five. If this product had the color that it normally has, I don't think anybody would be making a peep with regards to any complaints or noise about this product. All it's missing is the color. All it's missing, the product is great. It's only missing color. I put those distracted talking to you guys. I put the rookies in the vet pile. Hold on one second here. All right, there we go. Like, they stayed so true to their 96 form... That they didn't that they didn't put in the color because that's the way that ninety six was. I respect that, but I also respectfully think it was a mistake because people love the freaking color and flashback. They love it. As they should. As they freaking should. Alright, no refractor yet. Let's continue. UC of Morell. He's a stud. Can't wait to see him continue to improve next year as well. Him and Nico Horner, they were both really nice, nice, productive players for the Cubs this year. Young players. I like Nico Horner, too. Logan O'Hoppy, base rookie. UC, excuse me, UC of Reese Hoskins. Bo Jackson, Bo knows. Royals having a good five-case break for Dom J, his third rare. Like, I'm not hating on the product because I think it's a beautiful product. I just... Nah, it's different than that, Ephro. That's not fair. That's not a fair that's not a fair comment. I don't think that's the same. That's not the same. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are those refractors? Huh? Where's my refractor? Show me the money. Where's my refractor? God damn there it is. Rizzo. Rizzo's the refractor. The Riz. <laughs> He's good, Joe, right? It, 
It just, you know, they were, it, it's like a pizza place that was using a sauce that everybody loved for seven years. And then all of a sudden they were like, you know what? We're, we're just going to use the bland regular sauce for just for just for one year. And then we're going to go back to the spike. I, I'll tell you this. I will say this. I bet they don't make this mistake again. I bet they don't make this mistake again. I bet that next year's flashback, Decope said it yesterday. I bet the 97 flashback next year, I bet that shit is awesome. I bet it's I bet it's a huge hit. I bet they don't make the mistake they made this year. I bet it's really good. I bet next year's flashback is like the best flashback we've seen. Let's we'll see if I'm right or not in a year, but I bet next year's flashback flashback is going to be amazing. Yeah, I hit I hit a little bit of missing refractor yesterday. I hit like one or two boxes that was missing a refractor yesterday. That card came out of absolutely nowhere. Yoshida rare peel to 10. I would have done a guess, Joe. I would have done a guess on this peel if I saw it coming. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. A peel of Yoshida on the rare to 10 for Joe. Joe, you're cleaning up. Two rare Yoshidas in the peel rare. Nice hit out of nowhere. From the top rope. It's Yoshida peel. Four out of ten. I didn't see it coming. I would have. I would have done a guess for the peels. I'm sorry, guys. I would have done a guess for the peel. I didn't see it coming. I got robbed by a little old lady in a motorized cart, and I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> you see, of Ramirez, Jose Ramirez, a rare mariner named Julio for Ziggy Boy. Nice hit for the Mariners. None other than the mighty Duckman himself. Now it's like Emilio. We like Julio. Anything Julio is nice. We take any Julio we can get. That's two Julios. Two Julio rares. Is it my imagination or are those back-to-back -back Cody Bellingers? Is one, oh, one of them is a refractor. No wonder. I was like, why are we getting back-to-back -back Cody Bs? Comeback player of the year. CB. Comeback. Cody Bellinger. CB. Nice, Jeff. That's great. That'll make somebody happy. Yeah, that was a really nice Yoshida. That was a huge card. It's not Antoinette, but it's also a, a big proponent of us having terrible lighting in this room. So I won't totally blame the product for the refractors. That's Historically, the refractors have always been pretty tough to see at a flashback. It's nothing new. Alonzo on the UC. We're used to that with, with flashbacks. It's okay. Mount Castle on the UC. C.J. Abrams. A lot of rookies in a, low, in a row there. A lot of rookies in a row. There's Matty O on the UC for the Braves. Rare of... Nolan Ryan. The Ryan Express for the champs going to H.O.V. Hove. H to the O.V. You go, Jer. Gunner on the base. Corbin on the base. You see of Jazzle Dazzle. And we have one box left of the second. The second case.
We already hit the refractor. I don't know what I was looking for. We already hit it. Oh, wow. Really, Mike? No, I'm saying all the years it's been tough. Most years it's tough to see the refractors of uh, of flashbacks. Logan. Logan on the UC. Here's a rare Cardinal. It's the Jaywalker. Wood gets another nice card. He already hit, I think, a pool host auto, right? Yes, sir. Now he's getting a Jordan Walker rare. Let's go. We like Jay Walker. Rare in the next handful. There's a Manny on the UC. Refractor of what's your name? For Henny and Penny and the Rockies. We'll take we'll get on the board, Henny. We'll take it. Refractor of Tovar. Here's another rare behind us, Waldo Cabrera, you see. And it's gonna be Roger Maris, your second. Roger Maris rare for the Yankees going to Riley. The newcomer mojo. There's Gunner on the base. Riley, if you're out there and you haven't sent an email yet to get a discount code for being new to Blaz, let me know. Send an email to shipping at theblaz.com with your name, your name, your email, your shipping address, your username, and we'll give you a discount code if you're new, my friend. Come in handy when you buy those elites. All right, last handful of the second case. Suzuki, you see. Corbin on the base. You see of Garrett Mitchell for the Brew Crew. Scherzer, you see. And we should open some more packs. Let's open some more packs. We'll do two at a time. Maybe I'll just open up all three. Just do all three right now.
Are there any redemptions in this, or is everything live? Well, I haven't seen any of the autos numbered to less than 100 yet, but I've been told, Mr. Library. Overall, I agree. Overall, I agree with you. It's it's an interesting product. It really is. It's a, It's like... It's a good product, but it's a tough product in some way. I hope so. I hope so, Joe. I think we're due. We're due for that rookie ink. We really are. We're beyond due for the rookie ink. Beyond due. If we don't hit a rookie auto in these five cases, I'd be shocked. Bo always knows. <laughs> Oh, no, it's baseball. in this in this pack this pack this box rather this box that I'm holding right here we'll put that in the back a lot of rares in that one I want to say like four rares in there in that last box so there'll probably be like a rare refractor in there Yeah I don't I don't think that's I mean in some ways what Mr. Library is saying is right but what Joe's saying is right too because it just makes, honestly, it just makes the harder, it just makes the cheaper teams harder to go. It's not, it's not bad for the good teams. It's almost like bad for the bad teams. I saw somebody else was to 55 and somebody else was to 60. I saw that library. We just haven't hit the rookies yet. A lot of rares in this box, too. Oh, Carol is to 80, not 60. I haven't seen Big Mac yet either, but he's a legend auto, so more like a favorite to hit him. Um, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Hold on. I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Had to just go to the bathroom. We're here. Gilded was a hit, huh? Mascot cards sound cool. I've never seen any, but I'm in. What's the what is the best card in the mascot card set? Is it Mr. Met or the Philadelphia Fanatic? I mean for you and I, Joe, it'd be the Met, but I feel like the Philly Fanatic would be a fun a fun hit. The San Diego chicken. <laughs> they don't have the the non mascots, do they? Like, do they have like the freeze? I think the Philly fanatic has got to be the number one hit, right? Uh, nah, had like maybe a third of it. Always right, maybe a third of it. Kissing Bandit cards? What team is that, Joe? Oh, I remember her. I remember her, Joe. Yeah. I remember her. Sure. Morgana from League of Legends. Major League is right. A little Tom Ber Tom Bergeron scene when he's driving home the little Cleveland Indian golf cart, the bullpen, the bullpen wagon. Him and his bad knees going up the stairs for Rene Russo, the librarian. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> Okay, so if 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 Major League is Tom Bergeron's best movie, ready? For ten dollars, obviously you should always write. For ten dollars in Blez Buck credit, if Major League is Brown Dog's favorite Tom Bergeron movie, what is Brown Dog's second favorite Tom Bergeron movie? Yeah, there you are. Never mind. That was over quick. J Bach wins. The substitute. <laughs> the substitute. <laughs> this J Bach wins. All right, I'll let I'll let somebody else I'll let somebody else get the next ten dollars. I'll let somebody else get the next ten dollars. Who? Snipers are right. Who Who is Brown Dog's second favorite actor? In the substitute. This is an easy one. No, Joe, it's not. Yes, but you can't. J Bach, I said you're excluded. 
You can only I'm only giving you ten dollars. You can't win everyone. You can't win every trivia. The answer is Mark Anthony. <laughs> the answer is indeed Mark Anthony. Ernie Hudson was a good guess, but no. I do like Ernie, but I like Mark Anthony more. Then there was that other movie that reminded me of Gangster's Paradise, where the guy does the capoeira. Who was that guy? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. There's the guy that does the capoeira. <laughs> Isn't that called capoeira? What movie is that that I'm thinking about? It's similar to The Substitute, where he's a teacher in, like, Miami. Is that the guy, is that the actor's name, Jay Bach? What's the name of the movie that I'm thinking of? Only the Strong, is that the movie? Where he teaches the kids how to dance and shit? He teaches the kids how to fight with like that, like, right? <laughs> Man, I haven't seen that movie in forever. I love that movie. I used to love that guy. A lot of rares in this box, too. Is Ernie Hudson in that one also? The original Ghostbuster is goddamn right. I used to love the Ghostbusters when I was a kid. I definitely dress up as a Ghostbuster for Halloween at least once. Yes, that's that's correct, Jay Bach. I remember that scene. My favorite scene in the substitute is the high lie scene. I'm sure it is. I've never played it, but I know it's dangerous. My dad told me that all the highlight matches in Florida are they're all fixed. That it's, they're all rigged matches. That it's like one of the most corrupt sports out there. Because there's gambling on it. That it's all rigged. It's a crazy game. I have a lot of respect for the people that play that game. It looks like a very tough game. Ball goes real fast, and uh, it's real hard. Yep. Yeah, my dad's not known for being wrong. <laughs> What about Jack Black in School of Rock? He's the man. I love Jack Black. Dun -dun, gently. <laughs> the School of Rock. Jack seems like a guy that I would love to just hang out with.
<laughs> That's funny, Carl. Is the father of the guitarist in School of Rock the same guy that's the accountant from Billions? It's a battle. How you doing? Nice. Yeah, we're not getting any Sterling, so definitely if you need Sterling elsewhere, it would be good. I know it's a good product, but we're not, we're, I think we're skipping it this year. Yeah, the accountant from Billions with like, with like the coffee machine, he's obsessed with his coffee, right? Is, is that the same actor as the father of the guitarist from School of Rock? I'll have to look at that later, Carl, if I remember. Bowman Hobby, Bowman Chrome Hobby is on the screen, Jason. If you want to do that, Bowman Chrome Hobby PYT86. Take a look at, yeah, the compliance guy, exactly, yeah. Take a look at the uh, Bowman Chrome Hobby PYT86. It's in the store. It's not Bowman Hobby, it's Bowman Chrome Hobby. But I have that on the screen. We're doing these five cases right now. We're through two cases. We got three more cases to go. I'm almost done opening cases three and four. But I do have Bowman Chrome Hobby on the screen for potentially later. Is it the same guy, Sean? Different guy. Yeah, this is three and four, Demo. I'm opening the final box of, of four right now. I'm going to show three and four together. I think our window for a five case of Bowman Hobby has passed us by, but we could have done one in the past. We'll, we'll probably be able to do them a Bowman draft. We'll have some. We're definitely going to have a pick your player or two of Bowman draft. Really, Efro? I have to take a closer look. I thought that they looked they looked similar, but I guess I'm crazy. Oh, hold on. I just remembered. You're right. I know who the father is. You're right. He's in everything. He's literally an actor that's in everything. I know who... You're right. I just envisioned him in my head. They look similar, but you're right. Tim Hopper is older. He's older than the compliance guy. He's been in a bunch of, like... Like, random movies. You're so right. Efro, you're so right. I just envisioned him in my head, and you're 100% right. Okie dokie, karaoke! He's like a modern-day Kevin Bacon, but not as famous. Let us put our glasses on and commence the card showing ceremony for cases three and four. Good luck. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Let's do it. I like to move it, move it. Gunner on the base. Corbin on the base. Uncommon of Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Rare of Corbin Carroll for Gabriel. That's a nice card. First rare Corbin I've hit in this product. She's a beauty. Corbin rare. Very nice. It's 
up, HOV? HOV Hove. Hitting a little something something for you, Jeremy. Nolan on the UC. Trey Turner, you see. We're going to happy base. Tatis, you see. These cards are so nice. Devers, you see. I see a rare at the bottom of this pile. Slash handful. Joey Votto on the Uncommon, and a rare of the Babe. The Babe for Riley and the Yankees. Newcomer Mojo strikes again. It's tough. The rookie autos are tough to find so far. We've been hitting lots of legend autos. We're due for a rookie auto. Hopefully we can hit that for you, Jeremy. Good luck, my friend. Just look for the refractor real fast. Let's play find the refractor. There it is. Conforto for the Giants. Love the positivity. Thank you, Jeremy. Everybody, we're having a fantastic evening. Ripping flashbacks. In style. You know, you know who I was reading about earlier, Efro. I forget the guy's name, but he's the he plays. Uh, I think it's Saul in Homeland. Pat Patrice, whatever, or Patrick, whatever, or Patrice, whatever that guy's name is. Mal Malkin. I can't. I don't know his name, but he's a. Uh, He's, a, he's an interesting guy. He seems like a really cool guy. He's like 70 years old. Reese Hoskins on the UC. He seems like a really cool guy. And he's obviously a very good actor. UC of Maddie Chapman. Rare in here. But first a UC of Eloy for the White Sox. Gunner base, and another rare Yankee. This time it's Judge. Riley is cleaning up. Like I said, newcomer Mojo. Checklist for the Yankees is huge. Huge. It's huge. Judge, rare. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Springer, you see. Correa on the UC. Let's pick up a hardy handful here. A hardy handful. I see a rare right here on top. Red Sox, it's Ortiz. Ortiz rare for it's amazing. He's amazing. Corbin base. Torque on the UC. Machado as well on the UC. Now right, let's find the refractor. Let's play find the refractor. All right, well, it's a good thing. It's not a not a bet. It means it's either a rare. Or an uncommon refractor. There it is. Manny Machado, uncommon refractor. It's amazing.
You see of Kyle Tucker. Vaughn Grisham. Hunter Green. Acuna Jr. on the uncommon. All right, rare in here. Bobby Witt on the UC. And a rare of... Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. Jackie for Henny. We'll take Jackie. Jackie Rare. Sorry, Timmy A. Down goes Frazier. Another rare here. But first, a gunner base. Bo Bichette on the uncommon. And Vargas on the rare behind a base of Corbin. Vargas rare for the Dodgers to Henny. So nice box for the Dodgers here. Let's look for the refractor. There it is. Vladdy Jr. I'm down with Breakers Delight. I don't know how far away it is, but if you guys want to see some Breakers Delight, Jason said the same thing. He's interested in Breakers Delight. I can put that on the screen after this 5 caster. If you guys want to see Breakers Delight, PYT number 55, feel free to take your spots in the store, and then I'll put it on the screen after this 5 case break. I'm happy to do that. Sounds like a good idea to me. Bowman Chrome Hobby as well. Oh, we got a peel card. Peel card! All right, it's in this handful, so let's get our guesses in quickly. Guess the peel card for $42. Time is of the essence. Guess the peel card for $42. There's Lubop on the uncommon. $42 on the peel card. I'm not going to wait. No waiting. No waiting like hitting a flush draw right away on the turn. Chris Bryan on the UC. No waiting. We have a peel card. Guess quickly. I see those guesses rattling, rattling, rattling. Guess, 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 guess. I see lots of guesses. Shohei Witt, Judge Soto, Alvarez, Witt, Green, Green, Vladdy Sr., Jordan, Griffey, Alvarez, Olsen, Jeter, Yoshida, Adley, Jackie Robinson, Alvarez, Lennon Sosa, Chapman, Gorman, Casas. People, three people have guessed Hunter Green. We're going. We're going. We're going. It's Brian Bayo. Nobody guessed Brian Bayo. Boo. Boo. I like Brian Bayo, but nobody guessed him. Brian Bayo, not to be confused with Scott Bayo, not to be confused with Scott Bakula. For the Red Sox, it's Brian Bayo to 10. Three out of 10. Joe, you are cleaning up, my friend. Numbered pieces. Numbered pieces. What's in the box? Go hunting for the refractor. Not yet. Not yet. So let's find it. Rare in here. Lang Lears on the UC. The Yankees. The Yankees win. The Yankees win. Mariano Rivera on the rare. Briley. Yankees checklist is so big. So beautiful. I love it. Another rare in this handful, but first, Buxton UC. I ain't talking about Irvine. Tatis on the rare for the Padres. Tatis. Harper, uncommon. Gunner on the base. Seeger, uncommon. And 
now we gotta go hunting for a refractor. Show me the money! Where's the refractor? Show me the refractor! What's up, always? Bowman Cr Chrome Hobby PYT86. Full case, it's on the screen. Tribute full case PYT 74 is on the screen. Flashbacks PYT number 19 is on the screen. I'm also open to doing other stuff. All you got to do is attack. And if you attack hard enough, the floor is yours. We'll put it up on the screen. Jordan Diaz is our uh, refractor that I found here for Oakland. Intimidators. Refractor of Jordan Diaz. It says refractor. That's where it says it down there. Two thirds of the way through. PYT. Number one, five, Caser. Box number three. We may have an auto in this handful. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it's to be determined. And it will be determined rather quickly. Matty O. On the uncommon, and then we have a Red Sox named the Rocket. Roger Clemens, Joe, man, this these five these are personal five cases. These are personal five cases for Joe Amazon. I like literally went digging through the two different pallets just to pull some unique cards here. Pool hosts now on the rare. So Clemens and Pool hosts. That's what I'm saying, Jay Buck. You see, it's not there's two franchise. Rares, so it's 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 not. I mean, we might have another rare, I guess, in this box, but it's amazing. He's amazing. Sean was here a little bit ago. Oh, are you talking? Oh, sorry, the other Sean. Sean Jaden was here. Uh, Egnu hasn't been here. I don't think. Not tonight. You're making pumpkin soup. Oh, nice. Pumpkin soup is good. What's up, Zach? My wife my wife made some pumpkin stuff earlier. Not soup, but... She cooked some pumpkin. It was delish. Delicioso. Let me check for refractor here and the good stuff. Oh, no way, really? That's awesome, Mike. Congrats to him. Jazz Uncommon. A rare of Riley Green. Your second of these five cases. Riley Green rare for Detroit and the Jays fan. That's three today and two in these five cases. Let's go, baby. Riley Green rare. Uncommon of Alonzo. Can't wait for them to sign him to a huge extension. Should have ex should have signed him to a huge extension already. Uncommon of Mount Castle. CJ Abrams for the Nats, you see. Ramirez, J Ram. And now let's go looking for refractors. All right, well, it's rookie or better. It's a good thing. Good problems and bad problems to have. And that's a good problem. Let's take a look at the good stuff. It's going to be a rookie refractor, I think. From the looksy of it. Either that or they stiffed us a refractor, or I already found it and forgot.
Must have already hit and forgot. Unless... Either we got shorted a refractor or let's see, we should have 6, 12, uh, 17. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. No, nope. they shorted us one refractor. It's all right. It was destiny. Let's keep going. One refractor down. No big deal. Salvi, you see. Rare of George Brett for the Royals. Ooh, rare of Mike Harris. Mike Harris on the rare for the Braves going to will be free. We like that. And then there's another rare in this handful. Is it an auto? Is it an auto? Javi Baez in the UC. It is an auto. It is an auto. It's a Red Sox auto. And it's Big Poppy. Joe Amazing with a David Ortiz autograph. The third big poppy auto we've hit today. 10 out of a hundo spot. Joe, you have chosen wisely with the Red Sox. You have chosen wisely. I like it when you call me Big Papa. Gunner on the base. Xander on the UC. That's a refractor. Somehow I saw it. Ben Attendee. Corbin on the base. Ben Attendee's our refractor for the White Sox. There's Freddie Freeman on the UC. If they really put 100% bet autos in our cases, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Contreras, UC. Like how, like, how is this even real? Liberator, UC. And then Gunner on the base. I mean, in, in one way, it's, like, good because we like some of the legend autos, but in another way, we want we want the rookie autos, too. we got to spread out the love. I don't understand this collation. No, there hasn't been any cases with extra autos yet, Mr. Library, but what Backer did for the three cases that were missing autos is he added $200 to the bounty for each case that was missing an auto. So that's why the bounty is $800 higher than it was before we did this break. He just he just jacked up. <laughs> it's it's Scott. It's so weird. Maybe maybe it's you, Scott. <laughs> maybe you're the, the big poppy magnet. Yeah, he jacked up the uh, the bounty for the missing autos. This backer's a gentleman. He did the right thing. It's not like Fanatics is going to compensate him, or at least I don't think so. I know it's not his fault, exactly. That's why I'm saying he's being a gentleman. Because he's not going to get anything um, extra for it. But he did raise it anyway because he doesn't want you guys to feel slighted, you know. Even if it's not his fault. Let us continue. I agree, J. Bach. Um, I just kind of want to, like, open the fifth case. I just want to get it all on the table, if you guys don't mind. Let's open the fifth case. Then let's do the last two together. That that case is chilling there. Let's do the last case together. Let's open this one. Well, yeah, there's only a hundred. It looks like we're hitting every single damn one. Big Poppy and Jeter, we have the Monopoly over here. I, I believe now all of a sudden the odds went from us having the Jeter one of one Super Auto Minus 700. Now it could, it's like 50-50, Jeter or Big Poppy, right? Joe. <laughs> what do you think I am? The uh, the guy from uh, Las Vegas, the, the, the Griswold Vegas vacation? Pick a number. Haha, -ha, you lose, Griswold. <laughs> no. I 
I love I love when he gets off the airplane because he tries to have sex with his wife in the bathroom and he, and he comes out and his his like what is it his like it's like his like leg is like covered in that blue liquid and her arm is like covered in the blue liquid or something. <laughs> yeah, the blue foot and then the arm. It's great. It's so good. What's up, Mr. Salami? I was doing some discounts on this five caser. We have a PYT number 19 of flashbacks on the screen. We have PYT here. I'll show you guys while I'm opening these packs. PYT 19, PYT 86 of Bowman Chrome Hobby, and Tribute Full Case 74. That's what we have on the screen, but I'm open to, to changes. Ch -ch 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 changes. It's crazy, Will. It's crazy. All these vets, no rookies. That's why it's scary, Zach. If you say that, I bet he got him. I got. I bet he got it a lot. Yeah, Mr. Bowie. Ch -ch 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 changes. Well, the good news is, Jackie, we have more than one pallet because Backer is a man of efficiency. So, we have more than one pallet. That I can tell you. Um, I'm willing to bet that we have, that we do have a super auto in our pallets. But if we don't. If we don't, I'm sure that Backer will do something with the bounty. He'll like he'll roll it to another product or or he'll figure something out. What's up, Andy? Ch -ch 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 changes. I'm going to put it back on the screen so you guys can see. That's what I'm saying, man, of the library. It's going to be one of those two, right? We've hit so many of the regulars. It's the same thing that happened with the Adley. We hit the Adley rare peel to 10. We hit a bunch of Adley rares, and then boom, Adley super. Hawk hit it, right? And now it's like we're hitting all these Jeter autos and all these Ortiz autos. It's like we're going to hit the Jeter super auto. We're going to hit the Ortiz super auto. I don't think so, Joe. I don't think they... They don't know up from down, bro. Nineteen is going tonight. Yes, Mr. Salami. One hundred percent. One thousand percent. Nineteen is going to go. Absolutely. Absolutely nineteen is going to go. Carl, did, I didn't check because I've been doing this break. Did you send for Blue Jays and Dodgers? Really, Dr. Groom? That's a bold guess. I love it. I love it. Nice to see you, Dr. Okay, thank you, Carl. Sorry, I, did, I just didn't check. I, I'm sure you did. I apologize. Ch -ch 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 changes. How about the David Bowie outfit from Labyrinth? Somebody should dress up as David Bowie from Labyrinth for Halloween. Or should have dressed up as David Bowie from Labyrinth. But the key, the key to the outfit, the key to the David Bowie Labyrinth outfit is the bulge. <laughs> it's all about the bulge. It sure would. I would love to hit that. Who has the Angels? Riley, I think, right? Yeah, Riley. I would love to hit a Trad or Otani for Riley. I mean, he's hitting lots of Yankees. Riley, if you're out there, say hello. Don't be shy. 
I don't bite. Joe does a little bit, but it's okay. We'll make we'll make sure he doesn't bite you. <laughs> I can only imagine the number of times Joe invested, investigated a case where bite marks where bite marks were like like how many of your how many of your cases were like law and order SVU Joe <laughs> dun 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 <laughs> I don't think so, Joe, but I do think, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I do, I do really enjoy... I, I enjoy Law and Order. I've 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 seen a fair share. I I had it. I no. This is four and five on the table, Bob. We got four and five on the table. I'm just opening the last two boxes of the last case. I got four and five on the table. I just did number three. Um, I had a girlfriend when I was 24. I had a 21 year old girlfriend, and she partied hard and she played hard. I probably told this story before, but man, she partied her ass off like Friday night it was like it was party time I mean party time like multiple times I'd be out with her and I couldn't even keep up with her and then I would end up at her apartment curled up in the fetal position in front of her front door and she would just get home to let us both in but like <laughs> but uh she partied hard but she played hard and she worked hard too she was a really good student. Anyway, to make a long story short, on Saturday, we literally would just... It was great. It, I i love dating this girl. On Saturday, all we did is we stayed in bed. We watched Law & Order. We watched Family Guy. We had fun. And maybe, maybe smoked some weed, but... That's literally all we, every Saturday when I was dating this girl, that's all we did. It was great. Saturday was like the best day ever. Saturdays were the best days ever. <laughs> they were the best. I, I was probably in bed with this beautiful woman for 85% of my Saturday. Every Saturday while I was with her. And it was just law and order nonstop. Law and order and family guy nonstop. She was a lot of fun. Of course the ones with the Jerry were the best. Fingerprints off the bag. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Dust the bag! Okay, 100% of the packs of the five cases are open. We have two more cases to show. I'm going to get right into it right now. Good luck. Actually, I'm going to take a sip of coffee first. A sip of coffee first. Cafefe. We need the cafefe. It's like, it's like my spinach for Popeye. Un segundo, señores.
Okie dokie. Karaoke. Do 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 do. Sorry, Carl, I stepped away for two seconds. We are three cases through. We got four and five coming right now. Okay. And we're back. Everlasting Gobstopper, and we're there, and we're back. Okay. Oh, Bok Choy, let me put $10 in your account real fast for your guests. The Substitute... I put ten dollars on you. <laughs> Eerie. Yeah, that's what we need to hit right now. It's a big pop yo. Here we go. Case number four. Good luck. Begins now. Do 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 Suzuki. Uncommon. Garrett Mitchell uncommon. Sorry, it's stuck in my head. I apologize, guys. Lindor on the uncommon. Pena uncommon. Gunner base. Gunner, gunner. Let's look for the refractor. Let's play find the refractor. The Riz, the Rizzo was the refractor. Anthony Rizzo. The Riz. For the Yankees to Riley. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Bryant. Do, 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 and Jeter, he's rare. He is rare. Derek Jeter for Riley on the rare. <laughs> Jason. I think we know the guy that hit that, by the way. I don't even want to. Somebody said it. Somebody said it was. It was Sean. <laughs> somebody said it was Sean Agnew that hit that card. Okay, we have two golds right here, two rares. I have a feeling one of them is the auto. Let's come back to it. We'll come back to it. Look back at it. Come back to it. Here we go. Alonzo, one common. Mount Castle on com. We'll come back to it. We got to do another guess. We got to do some more guesses. The rare air up there coming up. Matty O on common and a rare of Vladdy Jr., our third of the five. Kesa for Bok Choi and the Blue Jeezies. Buxton on the UC. I tried to spread it out with regards to my case picking across two pallets, Corbin base. I really, I really like dug and like grabbed cases from different areas to, to spread the love. Seeger uncommon. That was my goal. I'm try I tried. I don't know if I succeeded or not. So far I feel like not that much, but I tried. I did really truly dig and grab cases from totally different sections. Bryce Harper on the uncommon. Here's another rare. George Brett for the Royals. George Brett. Royals. Royals rare. 
I like Brett. I would prefer Bo, but I'll take Brett. Does Bobby Witt have a rare card? Are there any Bobby Witt rares for us to hit? Damn, I really have that stuck in my head, Bryant. I won't keep singing it because I don't want to drive you guys even crazier than I already have driven myself, but... Doom, doom. <laughs> it's really stuck in my head, bro. Wit has an auto. Does he have rares, too? Hopefully, well, if he has autos, if he has autos, he has rares, right? So, yeah. I think, right? Let's hit one of those. Donde esta the refractor? We've been stiffed one refractor so far across all these cases. Oh, there's one. There it is, Lennon Sosa refractor. Only one refractor we've been stiffed so far across over three cases. Not so bad. Wit only has common and uncommon. No rare, only auto. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, learn something new. Every day. Every day. Um, yeah. Alec Thomas, he's uncommon. Vaughn Grisham, he's also uncommon. Giancarlo. Yep, you guessed it. Uncommon. You see in the house. Cabrian Hayes. And then a rare of Alvy and the Chipmunks for Low Smets going, I believe, the Sapster. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Thin Blue, one second real quick. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, J Bach answered it. Sorry, Dr. Gru, just saw your question. Uh, send 80, Thin Blue. I, I made the swap for you. You can send 80. Yankees are yours. I took them out for you in 19. And I put the Orioles back in. You can send 80. That's the difference. Thank you, sir. You see if Wilson Contreras, as we get back to it. Gunner on the base. Crawford on the UC. So Dr. Gru, I guess what they did was I learned this just yesterday, so I'm I'm only regurgitating new information that I learned yesterday, but to my understanding, the 1996 version of this actual product, Javi Baez Uncommon, that's the way it was it was printed. It was common, uncommon, and rare. Here's a rare speak of the devil. It's a white sock, Frank Thomas, the big hurt, Mr. Baseball with Tom Selleck. If you know, you know. Um So yeah. They stayed true to the 1996 set, and in 96, when they made it, they made commons, uncommons, and rares, just like, I guess, Magic the Gathering. They probably should have just gone with the traditional color and alt and, and not been so true to the 1996 print, but they didn't. Clearly, it was somewhat controversial. Yeah, I mean, those are new Mythics and Planeswalkers. I'm talking about back in the day, Efro. It was just common, uncommon, rare, right? That's the way it was for a long time. Weren't no Planeswalkers. Ain't no, no such thing as a Mythic. You know. That's what everybody says, Thin Blue. D-Cope said the same thing yesterday. He said 97 was going to be hot as shit. That next year, 
next year flashbacks is going to be off the hook. You're not you're not the first person to say that. A couple of people have said that. I'm I hope you're all right. I'm excited. I'm excited for next year's flashbacks. It's such a fun product. The auto checklist is always so good. And this year they just they they played around because they did the 96 version, you know. I just think it'll be better next year. Um, not that it's bad this year, it's just better next year. There's the refractor. There he is. Grisham on the Uncommon Refractor. That's a nice one. Nice refractor for the Braves. 97 is the same as this, Erie. What? Is it? I gotta double check. Saberhagen Flamethrower. Wow, what a name. Saberhagen. I remember Brett. Royals and the Mets with Saberhagen. Hunter Green on the UC. I can't believe you just acted. Saberhagen was like supposed to be like a, a god. And then he ended up being good for a minute and then not good, right? But he was supposed to be so good. Acuna Jr. on the UC. Moreno. Lou Bob on the UC. Oh, shit. We have a rare... Peel cover to 10. I'm going to put it down. Let's do a guess. Guess the rare peel to 10 for $42. Guess the rare peel to 10 for 42 Our last one was Yoshida. If this one is as good as Yoshida, I'll be very happy. Guess the rare peel to 10. That's going to be a banger. Rare peel to 10. Our second of this five case break That'll be nice. Bo Bichette on the Uncommon. Here's another rare. It's the Rocket. Clemens for the Red Sox. Joe, man, you are having a killer freaking break, dude. Red Sox are just feasting. Let's continue looking for that refractor as always. Do, 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 do. It's the refractor. Come on now. Shimon. Come out, come out wherever you are. Donde esta the refractor? Donde esta the refractor? Donde? Por qué? Well, I guess we haven't hit it yet. Let's find it. It's in this handful here with another rare. Lang Lear's on the UC. Guess the rare peel to 10 for $42. Here's a regular rare. It's Yoshida. Did I talk that into existence? Maybe. But it's the third one you've hit in this case if you don't include the peel to 10 rare. So you're just crushing Joe. It's just a Joe case. It's the This is an amazing case. A Joe amazing case, if you will. There's the refractor. Cody B. Comeback player of the year. Is our refractor for the Cubbies. CB comeback. Cody Bellinger. All right, the rare peel is getting shown now. The rare peel is getting shown now. No more waiting. No more and then. And then. No more and then. Good luck on the rare peel. Is it a rookie? Can we get a rookie sweat maybe? I can't quite tell. Oh, it is a rookie. It's a good rookie. For Henny and Penny and the Rockies. It's what's your name? Three out of ten on the Tovar. That is sweet, dude. Tovar to ten. Tovar to ten. That is a nice piece, Henny. Nice hit. Tovar to ten. Joe Bob, you got it? You got the guess, Joe Bob? Hey, 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 hey.
Joe Bob, I see a couple different Joe Bobs on the back end. Are you at Gmail or at Yahoo? Are you 808 or are you just, are you at Gmail? Franz or Solo? Franz or Solo or neither? Franz or Solo? CJ. On the uncommon. Yahoo? All right, I put it on your account. Double check to make, make sure I put it on the right account, Joe Bob. Nice guess, my friend. I love giving away backers money on the guess. Gunner on the base. J-Ram on the uncommon. Corbin on the base. Xander on the uncommon. Freddie Freeman on the uncommon. I feel like Freeman and Lindor are like the two most common uncommons, if that makes any sense. Just my own personal, personal opinion. Yeah, right, Erie. <laughs> what do we think this is? One of those uh, Russian dolls? What do they call them? Russian nesting, nesting dolls, right? Isn't that what they're called? Do they really, Joe? I mean, that makes sense. Speaking of making sense, there's Tovar, Refractor. So it's a Tovar kind of box. That makes sense. Henny killing it. Nice box for the Rockies. Heesh. Jazzle Dazzle on the UC. And then a rare of the Ryan Express for the champions. The champs are here. HOV Hove gets another Ryan. A rare Ryan Express. More gold. More cowbell. Salvi on the uncommon. Is this a is this a rare on is this a rare? What is this? What is this? It's a cardinal. It's Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker. On the rare. Cardinals. Got that pool host ink earlier. Mr. Wood. Eating. Eating. Jay Waka Flocka. I mean, we hit the pool O-Sync, so you're right, Dram. We already we hit one. It's so weird, though, because I really did, like, just totally mix it up when it comes to these cases. Um, let's do this box, and we'll come back to that pile, which has a couple rares in it, one of which I think is an autograph. There's Tucker on the UC. Refractor of Shea Wang Lear as well. I caught that. How did I catch that in this shitty lighting? Um... Yeah. Grisham on the UC. Gunner on the base. Rare coming up, but first to UC Bobby Witt. Haven't seen one of those. Julio on the rare. Third Julio in this five caser. Corbin on the base. There is Mr. Arenado. On the uncommon. Trey Turner, uncommon. Another rare in here, but first a Garrett Cole uncommon. And it's a Yankee, and it's Mariano. Number 42, Mariano Rivera for the Yankees to Riley, the newcomer. Another hit. Another one, DJ Collins style. 
I always thought that, Sappy, but I wasn't sure. I always, I, I always thought that the peel was part of the card, right? It's, it's not a real peel, yeah. You can't actually peel it. I don't think you can actually peel it. I don't remember that, Joe, but that sounds crazy. Yeah, I think I think he's right. All right, let's do this pile, which I think has the auto. Let's get it. Does it? it oh no, I just gotta stop for a second. This this card where it says Phenoms, is it just me or doesn't this look like the old Wheaties cereal box cover? Doesn't like it's instead of Phenoms, like couldn't it say Wheaties? It looks like the old cereal box. Like the old Wheaties cereal box. Is it just me? It does, right, Andy? It does. Let's see. Okay, it's not just me. It really looks like the old Wheaties box. It's crazy. <laughs> I just thought of that. All right, let's find these rares. We got two in here. Oswaldo Cabrera on the Uncommon. One of these is supposed to have an auto. It's going to be the next one. That's Adley. Adley rare. More Orioles, Adley rare. And this should have an auto? And it does. It does. And it's Bo Jackson. Bo knows for Dom J and the Royals. 30 out of 100 on a beautiful Bo Jackson on card autograph for Dom J. Love it, Dom J. Let's go. Love it. Bo Jackson, Inc. Bo knows. Bo knows. He does know. If you know, we know. Bo knows. I think he's the greatest athlete I've ever seen. Pretty, it's, it's amazing. He was such a special athlete. He really was. It's just special. Gorgeous Bo on the ink. Let me just get rid of the chrome dust. It drives me crazy, but I know Dom J will appreciate it. I'm going to get rid of that chrome dust. There we go, much cleaner. Clean and crispy. Clean and crispy. We got one more case, boys. Boys and girls. That would be that would be sick, Brugbu, honestly. Dion was an amazing athlete. I would say Bo was the better athlete than him, but Dion was he was he was very special. Dion was a special athlete. He gave it Dion gave it 110%. I, I give him credit for that all the time. Pena on the UC. You know, it's like, I'll tell you guys like a funny story about being an athlete. And obviously I'm not a special athlete or anything. There's D.L. Hall on the Uncommon. Like you guys are obviously much better athletes than I've ever was. But I was a good athlete at some point in my life in high school and college. And like, there's Garrett Mitchell on the UC. And the one thing that I learned about being an athlete, I mean, this was just my personal approach, but I, I didn't give it. 90%. I didn't give it 100%. I literally gave it 110%, 150%, 180%, and I would, like, run out of energy. I did not conserve anything. I just gave it my all right away and made sure I went. I won as quickly as possible. And if I didn't win quickly, I was just exerting such an unbelievable amount of energy that I would run out of energy. And then if the match went too long, I would just lose. Whatever sport it was, if the game was going too long, I was dead. Because I gave 170% in the beginning. Nolan Arenado was our refractor, by the way. Um, I just feel like Deion Sanders did that, but he never ran out of energy. He just gave 130% all the time and never ran out of energy. Now, I'm talking about wrestling. I did wrestling in high school and college. I was a pretty good wrestler. Um, but I, I gave it, I gave it my all in the first period. If I didn't win in the first period, I was dead in the water. My record in matches that went past the first period was probably atrocious. But my record in the first period was probably like a 90 plus winning percentage. Um, Shea Lang Lears on the Uncommon. Suzuki Uncommon. And a rare Harris for the Braves. That's our second one of the case, of the five case, excuse me. 
for Will, and he is going to be free. Lots of freedom. Oswaldo Cabrera on the UC. Nice Michael Harris there on the rare. Joey Votto, UC. Schurz, UC. And another rare. This one's going to be the Babe. The Babe. Baby Ruth. Yeah, I definitely, uh, you know, when I was in high school and I had to make weight, I would walk around spitting in a cup all freaking day like an idiot, and then I would go to sleep with uh, three, four layers of sweatpants and four or five layers of hoodies. Had to make weight. I did 103. Oh, shit. I did 103 um, my first year of uh, my first year of high school. I did 112 my second year and I did 119 my third year. Gabe Moreno refractor nice. How did I catch that? Moreno refractor for the Diamondbacks. Correa on the uncommon. Uncommon of Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox. Torque. Uncommon. Tatis Uncommon. The Uncommons, I think, are one of every four packs. I see our next rare. It's a good one. It's not one we haven't hit yet in this case, but it's another good one. Springer Uncommon, and our next rare is Yoshida for the zillionth time in these five casters. Just insane. Insane. Joe Amazing. Have yourself a freaking break, dude. Have yourself a freaking big break. It's insane. Joe. It's amazing. There's Gunner on the base. Devers on the UC. And another rare. It's going to be Mariano. For the Yankees. Going to Riley. Getting that Mariano love. Did I... Let's see. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, 30, 29, minus 4. I should have 25 here. And we do have 25. Hey, hey, hey. I'm fat out. Cleaning up the box one second. What's in the box? There should be 60, but there's only 50. What are we? Yeah, I agree always. It's very weird. This, the collation is insane. I don't even know. I'm like kind of speechless. I'm not speechless, but I'm just holding my tongue back, I guess. At this point, it's to be expected. I don't know. Right? Are we really expecting anything else at this point? I guess we shouldn't. I don't think we should expect anything else. Ow, my hand. Son of a... One second. Ah. Yeah, it's it's not. It's, I, it, I, I'm with you, Sappy.
Honestly, for people that have been like watching Blez open these cases for the last 48 hours, there should be some really sharp people out there that like know exactly which teams they should be taking that we're, are just going to hit nonstop in our next X cases. Like honestly, the I'll just say it. The Red Sox, the Yankees, the Cardinals, the Orioles, but really the, the, the Royals, those teams should never be there. They should never be there. The Royals, the Mariners, the Yankees, the Red Sox should be gone in every goddamn break that we have in the store. I agree the tide will change, but for the moment, that's where we're at. UC of Trey Turner. A rare Vladdy Jr. for the Blue Jays to Bok Choi. Your collection extends. Refractor is Oswaldo Cabrera. Found him. Got him. Uh, I don't... Did we pull a Vladdy Senior Auto yesterday? Or was it just his rare? Vaughn Grisham, you see. Rare. Off the rocket for the Red Sox going to Joe in his personal 5-case break. <laughs> Corbin on the base, Joey Votto, you see. Arenado, you see. And now we get three boxes remain. Gunner on the base. Bobby Witt, you see. Corbin base. Hunter Green, you see. Bo Bichette. Moreno. Lou Bob on the UC. Swanson, he's your refractor for the Cubs. Refractor of Dansby Swanson. Here's a rare of Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. Eat your Wheaties. You look like Jordan Walker. Acuna on the uncommon as I hear the Blez brothers go crazy screaming from the other room. What did they hit on the basketball channel? What is Backer going crazy about? Oh, Bridges. Was that gold gold rookie of Bridges? That's pretty sweet. No Piazzas yet, Henny. No Piazzas yet. Keyword is yet. There is Vlad Inc. in this, Vladdy. It's in this product if, with the, with the uh, Expos for the Nationals. There's a Vladdy Senior Auto in this product. Uncommon of Chris Bryant. Rare George Brett once again. Royals having an excellent five-case break. Two boxes remain.
That looks like the auto. Why don't we put that down there? And then we'll finish the rest of it and we'll come back to that. I think that's the last auto. Bryce Harper Uncommon. Buxton UC, and that's a refractor, a UC refractor of Buxton. Alonzo UC, Corbin Base. UC of Mount Castle. A rare of Nolan Ryan. Champs are eating. Plenty of Nolan coming out in this case. In these five cases, Buxton on the Uncommon Refractor. Lang Lear's Uncommon, Gunner Base. Buxton Uncommon. Liberator Uncommon. Reese Hoskins Uncommon. Oops. Sorry, Altuve. Machado Uncommon. There's the refractor. Terran Vavra. Terran Vavra. For the Orioles. On the refractor, the Intimidators refractor, our final refractor. Go through the rest of this box, and then we'll check out our final auto. Logan O'Hoppy on the Uncommon. Gunner on the base. Looks like number 19 will be next. There's not much money left. The bounty's going to go up a ton. Matty Chapman on the uncommon. Corbin on the base. And Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson on the rare for the Dodgers. Going to the Henster. Morell on the Uncommon, and another Julio Wheaties Rare for the Mariners. It's like your third or fourth one of this case, of this break. Um, let's do our final auto. I know there's not that many names to guess, so I expect to give away some money. Whoever gets, gets the names in first is just going to get the recipient. Guess the final auto for $10 in Blesbuck credit. It's so easy to guess, and the checklist is so small that it's like a guarantee I give away $10. Guess the last auto for $10. 3,000 of you want to guess Ortiz and Piazza, and, Al and Pula only one of you can get it. I'll tell you guys who guessed it first. Joe Amazing guessed the Big Poppy auto first. J-Bot guessed Ichiro, Man of the Library, Volpe, Piazza with Lee Williams. Bo knows Dom J guessed it. Corbin, Bruvu, Vladdy Sr. is Rat Boy. Young is Jeremy HOV. Pujos was guessed by Always Right. Wit, Dr. Gru, Jeter, Eric M. Big Hurt, The Wizard. Larry Walker, Henny and Penny, Volpe. Was already guessed. Soto by Erie. Willy Wonka has been guessed by Ed Ram. And that is my cue. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Once Willy Wonka is guessed, that's my cue to show the card. Good luck. Here we go. The dude from the Rockies says Lucina. You talk about Tovar? I'll, I'll, I'll count that as Tovar. <laughs> Number 
Mets rare of Alvi for Sappy first. And then our final auto is coming up. Good luck. Seeger on the uncommon. The last auto is... Volpe! Finally! A rookie auto! Well, hot damn. Took us long enough. Yeesh! Riley with the newcomer mojo. Joe did say that the last case was going to have rookie ink. It's about damn time. Eight out of a hundred. Volpe is to a hundred. Eight out of a hundred on the rare rookie ink of Mr. Anthony Volpe for Riley. Let's go. Let's go. Let me take a picture of Volpe. That's a beauty. About damn time. An excellent finish. At least we finished really strong in the right way. That's a that's good mojo right there. Congrats, Riley. That's sweet. We finally hit a rookie auto at the very end of the five caser. We were due. We knew it and we felt it. Joe felt it. He manifested it. And it came true. Let me take a picture of Volpe. Beautiful card. They do exist as right. I mean, holy shit. I was really worried that our entire palette was going to be vet autos. Now we know it's possible. Let's go. No, the first person who guessed Volpe is going to get it. The first person to guess Volpe was Man of the Library. Man of the Library. You got a $10 bill, my friend. One second. Put it on your account. We're going to do a recap. Man of the Library. Hold on. I, gotta, I was going to say I got to find your email, but I'll find it. One second. I found it. I got you. I got you. Got you. It's been added to your account. Nice guess, my friend. Yankees have been unbelievable. Let's do a full recap. Let's do a full recap. I've got everything super organized for you guys. Refractors. I can't believe the Yankees are available, Erie. These are all refractors. Somebody told me the print run on the refractors is like around 108 of each or 109 of each, something like that. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but sounds feasible. Also refractors here, Salvi, Contreras, J-Ram. Machado, Grisham, Langliers, and Buxton, all uncommon refractors there. Then we had a whole bunch of rares. These are the franchise rares. These are the vets. Lots of Yankees, lots of Red Sox, lots of Royals, some White Sox, some Orioles, some Rangers. Royals did very well. Yankees did very well. Very well. Very well, Riley. Very nice. And also, I think one of these was a refractor. No? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I guess not. I mean, this is silly. Look at this. Ready? Vargas rare. Adley times two rare. Yoshida not once, not twice, not even three times a lady, but four times on the Yoshida rare intimidators. And we had some gamers. Alvi, Vlad Jr., Harris. Alvi, Vlad Jr., Harris. Alvi, Vlad Jr., Vlad Jr., and Harris. Okay. 
Collation 101. All right, sure. Then we had some more rares. Julio, Jordan Walker, Julio, Jordan Walker, Tatis, Judge, Jordan Walker, Julio, and Julio. And I was like, Emilio! We had some rares, some rookie rares. Riley Green, Corbin Carroll, Peraza, and another Riley Green. Those are nice. Only four of those, so that must be a really tough hit. We had some numbered, some numbered peels. These are pretty cards right here. Bayo to 10 on the bronze peel for the Red Sox. Liberator to 10 on the bronze peel for the Cardinals. What's your name? Rare peel to 10 for the Rockies to the Henster. And Yoshida, also rare peel to 10 for the Red Sox. We had some ink. Bo Nose, Royals, Big Poppy, Red Sox, Derek Jeter, Yankees, Pujols, first in the print, one out of a hundo spot for the Cardinals, and the star of the break, Anthony Volpe, on the rookie ink for the New York Yankees, going to Riley, congrats Riley, newcomer mojo like I said, all the autos will beat the sort, the Yoshida, to 10, and the tow bar to 10 will also beat the sort. That was five cases of Top's Finest Flashback. We only got shorted one refractor. That's not a big deal. It wasn't We weren't shorted any autos or anything like that. It was a solid five different names on the ink. Some good rookies in there. Four peel cards, and two, including two of them rare. Solid breaks. Solid cases. Thank you for joining PYT number one, five case of Top's Finest Flashback. Appreciate you guys. That was a break.